Thank you very much. Well, police are going through the Maryland home of a man accused of killing two people and hurting 11 others in Jacksonville, Florida yesterday. Police say the shooter killed himself before he could be arrested. Matt McCutcheon is live with us here this morning with why that shooter went all the way down to Florida from his home in Baltimore to begin with. Good morning, Matt. I'm Ben and Julie. Good morning to you. What we're learning from investigators so far, they believe he actually came down to Florida to play in a video game tournament. This is video of 24-year-old David Katz's home there in South Baltimore. You can see ATF, FBI agents all right there at the scene trying to go inside and collect any evidence they can to learn more about him. 750 miles away, Katz is accused of firing several shots at a large gathering in downtown Jacksonville. The landing is an open mall of sorts. Around 1.30 Sunday afternoon, several shots will be fired, killing two people and hurting more than a dozen more others. So we know that the suspect used at least one handgun to commit this act, uh, and we are working again with our partners at ATF on that aspect of the investigation. We have located and impounded the suspect's vehicle and a search of that is, is pending, uh, but we believe he stayed somewhere locally. Now we know that the 11 victims who have been shot, they are stable, but here in the day ahead, we hope to learn more about their condition and how they're doing. And I know it's still early in the investigation, but any idea of a motive in this? A little bit more about what we've been learning about the suspects so far. EA Sports, who sort of put on that gaming convention, mm -hmm. they actually list him as a 2017 championship winner. So it's not sure maybe if there was some beef between another player, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, police are also looking to his actions before he went down to Jacksonville and also with things they may find in his home. Just to learn more about him and a potential motive. Yeah, I get to know some of this was live streamed. Just pretty disturbing stuff when you read more. Matt, thank you very much. And we have been covering this shooting since it first happened yesterday afternoon. If you'd like to hear the very latest reports from police and see video from that live stream that Ben mentioned, which was capturing part of that shooting, you can go to WTHR.com. Well, the National